Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 542-01 matrix. And I have shared couple of problems at the end of the video and also in the description, which will actually help you to understand this problem better and also the concept better. And we have a dedicated telegram group uh, and the link I have mentioned in the description. So do consider joining our telegram group where we'll be discussing about this problem. And in this problem, we are given a matrix, N cross M matrix, and there are zeros and one. What do we have to do is find the distance to the nearest zero. Let's take for example this zero. What is the distance to the nearest zero? It is zero itself because that is itself zero. Now for this one, what is the nearest zero? The nearest zero is on the left, on the top, on the right. So the distance will be one. Similarly for this one, for this one, what is the nearest zero? It is either this zero or this zero which is at a distance of two. So this will be our answer. This will be our answer which we have to return in the format of an array itself. Okay. Now let's take another example, this example. Now what is the distance to this? It is two and for these two it will be one itself. And if you compute all of them our final answer will be like this and this is our expected answer. Let's look at quick observation and how we can arrive at the intuition of the problem. In this problem, we can travel in four directions, right? One is right, down, top or left. But if we travel in all the four directions at once, it will be forming a clash. So we have to decide either we will travel this first or we will travel this first. And once we are completed with this, we'll be traveling this, or if you have chosen this, we'll be traveling this. So what we'll be doing, we will be traveling one of the directions first, one of the directions first, and we'll be computing the nearest zeros distance, right? And while traveling the opposite direction, we will either keep the existing values if they are minimum than the newly computed values, or we will change those values. Let me explain this. What do I mean by this? Let's take this for example, and let's start computing. This is a zero, so the distance is zero. Now, we will decide we will travel in these two directions, right? Now, let's fill the first row and the first column, right? So, what is the distance for this one? The distance will be one, and the distance will be two, and the distance will be zero. So, what is the formula? The formula here is very simple. It will, if it is a zero, it will stay as zero. If it is not zero, it will look at the previous cell. It will look at the previous cell and just add one to it. That is what we did here, right? And similarly, we will also do this. That is, this will be one, two, and three. That is, this will be the nearest zero for all of them. Why? Because this is the only direction that we are allowed to travel. Now, for this, for this, how do we compute? Now, since we are traveling in this direction, we can look at this value and this value, whichever is the minimum, will add one to it. That is, this will also be two. Similarly, this will be a three. Similarly, now this will be one. Why will this be one? Because the minimum is zero and this will be one. Similarly, here also we can fill these values. Since it's a zero, it will be zero. Let's fill all the zeros. If it is a zero, we will not be changing those values. Now, for this one, since there is a zero, it will be one. and for this one, since there is a zero, it will also be one. Now, again, for this one, it will be one. Now, we will be traveling in the exact opposite direction. That is from this to this. So again, what do we have to do? We have to fill the bottom row and the last column. So it will be the same thing. One will stay as one. This will be zero, zero. Let's write zeros first. And for this one, it will stay as one. But this three, has a better choice now, which is one plus one, that is two. Now, so this three will be replaced to a two. Similarly for this, this one. Now again, we can fill this row similarly, but now we'll be looking at these two values and this will be one. Similarly for this zero, it will continue to be zero. And if you fill all this value, this will be the final answer array. So what we did here was first we traveled from right and we traveled bottom and in the second case we traveled up and we traveled left and finally we computed the answer and most of the people 
call this as dp but i would like to call this as greedy algorithm because there is no choice here and what we are doing essentially is picking up the best in two direction and this you can easily understand with the help of these two problems that is lead code 135 and 42 which uses actually a similar approach that we discussed in this problem now finally let's look at the pseudo code what we'll be doing we'll first look at the first value that is this corners value and if it is equal to 0, it will continue to be 0. If not, we are setting it to the maximum value. That is, we don't know the answer yet. So, we will be setting it to the maximum value. Then, we will be filling up the first row. And we will be filling up the first column. And finally, what we will be doing? For every cell, there are two options. For every cell, there are two options. One is i minus 1 of j or i of j minus 1. That is the previous two cells. That is, for this cell, this is one of the option and this is one of the option whichever is minimum we just add one to that don't forget we have to add one to that similarly we'll be doing left up and if you're not able to write the code for this i have shared the code link in the description so please do go through the description and you will be able to understand the solution to this and we have a dedicated telegram do group so do consider joining our telegram group thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe